AgriGold, we know corn. Hello, my name is John Breen. I'm an AgriGold agronomist out here in the field today talking about what to do next. So we've had our corn planted, side dressings done, herbicides are sprayed. Now what do we do on the cornfield? Well, this is a great time to get out in the cornfield and start doing some evaluations of our plant stand to make sure that what we've planted is how we want it done. Also gives us a great opportunity to make plans for next year. So today we're gonna to look at several things. We're gonna check our planting depth. We're gonna make sure our planting depth was where we wanted it to be. We're gonna check our roots, making sure we don't have any sidewall compaction, make sure we don't have any issues with our roots. Also, we're gonna check the uniformity of our stand. We wanna make sure that our stand is uniform as far as spacing goes. We wanna make sure our stand is uniform as far as emergence. All these things can tell us what we need to fix for next year so that while we have time this summer, we can fix our planter and get ready for next year. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to check today is planting depth. We all have in mind where we want our planting depth to be, and we all think we know what our planting depth is, but we just need to double check that to make sure. So the easiest thing to do is take a shovel out in your field, dig up your corn plants, remove the soil, And what we're looking for, is we're looking for where the seed was attached to the plant. So what you do is you measure from the bottom of the seed up here to the crown and add three quarters of an inch. And that'll give you your planting depth. When checking planter depth or planting depth, please don't be afraid to check all of your rows as each row acts independent of each other and planting depth can vary quite a bit from row to row. So the next thing we're gonna do is evaluate the uniformity of the stand. So we wanna to check to see how good a job our meter did. So that's gonna be our meter and our drop. So we wanna check our plant spacing throughout the field. So walk throughout the field, kind of get a gauge for are my plants uniformly spaced? If they are, our meter did a great job. Do I have lots of doubles? Do I have a lot of skips? That will tell me what I need to do in my meter as far as making adjustments. But once again, we wanna check every row of our planter to make sure that there wasn't a malfunction on one of our rows. We wanna make sure that our meters are doing the best job they can. We, we're not gonna get 100% uniformity, but what we're looking for is that 90% and plus as far as being uniform. So as we're evaluating our stand, we'll come across areas such as this, where there's an obvious skip in our planter. So the question becomes, was this a skip due to planter malfunction, or was this a skip to uh, poor germination or, or seedling loss? So you can just do a little bit of digging around, um, see if there was a plant there, maybe dig up where that plant should be, and look for a seed. In this particular case, does not appear to be a seed here, so that was just a planter malfunction, a planter skip. Uh, you'll have those occasionally. We want to make sure that we don't have an excessive amount of those uh, as far as planter skips, so that just gives us another diagnostic tool to work from. So the next part of the evaluation is uniformity of emergence. So when you're walking cornfields at tasseling time or at grain fill time, and we notice these small spindly stalks throughout the the cornfield, our first reaction is, well, that was just a bad seed. Well, more times than not, that was due to a late emerging plant. When you have corn plants that are more than two leaf stages behind, they become runts or, comp or just weeds and runts. So what we want to do now is kind of evaluate our stand for those. So here's an example of a plant uh, and its neighbors that did not emerge uniformly. So this little guy was a late emerger, significantly late, and this guy was later than the ones around him. So these two plants here are going to be weeds. So we need to figure out why that is. So first thing we want to do is check planting depth to make sure our planting depth was not significantly different than its neighbor. So 
So in this case here, our planting depth was significantly dip deeper. So we're probably talking about an inch deeper, the one that emerged late, than the one that emerged timely. That could be a number of issues, a false bottom, a no-till colder running too deep, or just a, a pocket in the field that caused that. So that tells us that uh, our, our planting depth wasn't uniform and that's what caused that. So we can begin to diagnose our, our problems right here and right now. The other thing we can do as we evaluate our corn stand is how did our planter do in the conditions we were in? We can always adjust our corn planter to meet different condi planting conditions. So we, that's a good time to determine how our corn planter did. Well, as we're looking here in this field, we can tell that our slot never closed. That tells me that we planted corn that was too, when it was too wet and our planter wasn't set up to close that slot with the proper closing wheels. So typically when we see this, we get pretty nervous about sidewall compaction, we get nervous about uh, limited root growth, we get nervous just about overall plant health conditions. But this particular grower got pretty lucky in the fact that it stayed moist. The roots are growing out where we want them to grow and it's, uh, everything looks really good at this point in time. So no matter how hard we try to do things perfectly, this field is an example that we're not in charge. And a lot of times we may not do things properly, but mother nature, rainfall can cover a lot of our errors. So we evaluate our cornfields. We've got some idea of some problems, some good things that are going on in our cornfields so we can make adjustments. This is a great time to plan for next year. We have time to evaluate. We have time to go back to our corn planter to just to make the, those fine tune adjustments so that we're ready for next year. If we wait until December or January or even February of next year to make adjustments in that corn planter, we're gonna forget what we saw here today. So that was a great time to make notes, to write it down, or even go fix it right away. So evaluating your corn stands may seem like a waste of time, but it's a great opportunity to evaluate how your corn planter did and how you did as far as getting that stand established. So I hope you had a great time looking at your cornfields, and we'll see you next time.